Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. One clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a really great day. In today's video, I want to do a little bit fuck around and find out. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, we are back again in XOS. And I want to try out a couple of things with you. In one of my last videos, I showed you how to, or I told you what kind of updates we have seen with the recent version of the BitX firmware, which is the version 2.3.0. And one thing I need to clarify first up here is this dotted line is not the expected hash rate, it is the average hash rate. This was a misspelling of myself. Uh, so this will hop up or down depending on what your average of your hash rate is which is great to see, but yeah, I was just pointing this out wrong. So now it's clarified, good, let's try and do some stuff. So you do see to the right hand side, I do have over here one command line, which is for my Bitcoin server that I'm using, where I do host my own, yeah, a small Bitcoin pruned node with a small server with public pool hosted on it. And I wanna show you a couple of things today. So the first thing I want to do is we have seen that now you can put in two different pools, for example, a public pool and as a secondary pool. So if the first one goes down, it switches, you can add in a second pool such as I don't know, CK pool or whatever you prefer. So what I want to do with you now is go over to the locks and take a look in there so that we do see all right, something is going on over there. Now what I want to do is I want to stop a instance of my server which is running public pool and I want to discuss with you what's going on on the bidx so let's quickly stop it and now you do see things are going on here we see shutting down socket and restarting it is cleaning the jobs uh, it says okay I found an invalid job something is not correct here so it is stopping and you see we we are trying to reconnect and reset the peer but it's not working and here is the interesting part Let's stop the scrolling. Now it says switching target due to too many failures, retries three, and now it connected over to solo.ckpool.org. So what it did, it switched over to ckpool.org. And before that, I was mining to this weird IP address, which is one of my servers at home. And yeah, now it just switched over there. And what we wanna do now is we wanna start it again. So let me quickly start the server again and let's see what it is doing. It should do a heartbeat to the primary pool after quite a while and it should switch back to the original pool. Let's quickly wait for that until it happens because it should happen in just a couple of seconds if I'm not mistaken about that. Let's see, it might take a couple of seconds, but it is actually a great feature. So if your pool goes down, now you do have the option that your secondary pool is working. There we go, there was the switch. Uh, we see here, all right, heartbeat successful and in fall pick mode, switching back to primary. So this is clearly indicating, all right, I found the server that I am primarily connected to and I'm gonna be switching again to it. Here you see the subscribe, authentication, uh, the suggested difficulty, and we are back again on my own pool that I do have at home, which is just perfect. So yeah, this is working for sure. Now we wanna do some other stupid stuff. So let me quickly grab my phone camera let me do a video here and let's see. Ah, I didn't mention this to you. Or maybe I will point out somewhere here a screenshot or not. You are hopefully listening. If you do switch over to a fallback pool, it will also show this to you on the screen. So usually it says uh, mining pool and then it shows you the URL and then you can see where it is. And if it switches over to the fallback pool, it also will show you this on the BitX device on the screen. If you do have a screen attached to it, you don't need to, but yeah. So, all right, let's do some other stupid shit. Uh, I love doing stupid shit. Let's reduce the fan speed and let's go into the overheat mode. So let's quickly do that. Let's see, we saved it successfully. Let's save it again. Why is the fan not spinning down? All right, it seems like I need to restart it and uh, hopefully that it works. All right, now the fan is basically doing nothing. 
great it is stopped let's see how long this takes i also do the recording now on the phone so this should take only a couple of seconds and there will be an interesting thing also i i haven't shown you the initial setup which is now also different sorry if the mic quality is now a little bit bad uh, but we are approaching our way over into the overheat mode let's see how the dashboard is looking ASIC temperature is at 58 degrees Celsius 61 so this takes a quite some time all right um, yeah I will cut this all right and there you see it we now have swapped over to the overheat mode and it tells us on the screen device overheated check XOS settings all right, let's do that. Let's go over to settings and let's see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, make sure to reset frequency and voltage before clicking this button. Awesome. This, guys, I hope now you can actually see what's going on and that your device is in the overheat mode. I admit my previous implementation of it was not good and this change in the latest release of the version 2.3.0 of the dude who changed it to this button is just amazing thanks for doing this this is now the the banner of dude something is wrong with your machine change it which is great so let's do that let's adjust the frequency back to 500 and core voltage to 1200 disable overheat mode save 